let you down. I don't wanna let you down. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello. I am Marvella and I'm so so glad you clicked on this video. Be sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications to be notified every single time I post a new video. In this video, I'm basically going to be telling you guys the mistakes I made as an influencer and like basically if I get a chance to start over again, I would not not do these things. I'm also going to drop a little like a few tips and tricks or like a feel like don'ts and do's or do's and don'ts, however you want to say that. So you already know what to do. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and also turn on that post notification, like I said earlier, so you'll be notified every single time I post a new video. And with all that being said, let's get right into this video. Now, if you don't know me, hi, I am Marvella. I am a social media influencer. I am a, I'm also a UGC content creator. I'm also a wig influencer. So basically, I'm in the influencer world. I'm into social media heavy and I do make money on social media. So the point of this video is to ensure that other like upcoming social media influencers do not make these same mistakes that I did. It's really one huge mistake that I want to talk about. But um, yeah, it's really one that I really know that really, really, really messed me up, especially on YouTube. And I honestly just before I get right into this video, I just want to apologize to you guys. And I want to let you guys know that I am so sorry because, you know, a lot of people knew me as somebody that created, you know, interesting content and not just, you know, big reviews, shoe reviews and all that good stuff. But we're going to get into the reason why and all that good stuff later. But I just want you guys to know that I had a little epiphany yesterday. I hope that's the right word. And I'm back and I'm better and I'm going to not, I'm not going to ghost again. I'm not going to ghost again. I'm not going to be posting the relevant content again. I might do a few hair videos here and there, but it's not just going to be hair video, hair video, hair video, hair video, like review, review, review. No, it's not going to be nothing like that. Because at the end of the day, when I did start my YouTube channel, I started my YouTube channel because I wanted to let y'all into my life, not just let y'all into my process and my growth as a weak influencer. Okay, so the first and really the main mistake that I made doing YouTube and really being an influencer is I changed my niche so drastically. Now, if you don't know me and if you haven't been following me for a long time, I have been doing or I've been in the little social media business since 2018. I, I don't remember if I started my, I think I started my Instagram in 2015 or 2017. And at that time, I really, I had a Musical.ly or TikTok account. I'm not, not TikTok, but Musical.ly. I mean, it's TikTok now, but I had a Musical.ly account. And what I basically used to do was make, you know, videos, lip sync videos, dance videos, and all of that. So I was really known for my dance content. You know what I'm saying? So, but now it's like, I don't even really dance anymore. You probably see me dancing outside at a party if I'm late. You know what I'm saying? If I got a little liquor in me, but you know, I don't post dance videos anymore unless I'm making like a TikTok or some slight, some little, nothing crazy. Now, what one mistake I made as an influencer is I drastically changed my niche. Now, you can always change your niche, right? But if people are following you for a long time and they know you as this person, for me personally, in this example, they knew me as somebody that used to dance, a dancer. Now, I was not a professional dancer. I wasn't no cafe or nothing. But I did used to dance. You know, I used to post like dance videos and all of that good stuff. But with growth in the influencer, whatever, came um, influencer journey, came brand collapse and in specific to be specific wig brand collapse right so um you know as a little influence i'm like okay like these people are trying to send me this free stuff just so i can post it on my social media great why not just do it okay great that's great but like i said you know number one issue was changing my niche so um quick and swiftly with damn near no um caution sign so, um, I would say don't do that. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to t uh, change your niche, I guess, you know, just let your followers know or just, you know, still do what you're doing on the side because at the end of the day, my real OGs were following me because I was dancing. I was a dancer. I was a dub smasher or a musically person or whatever that is, you know? Boom. Second mistake, which also leashes off that and me changing my niche is that I, um, I was blinded by how much revenue I could generate by 
working with these brands. Now, there's no problem. There's no issue with working with brands. Nothing at all, right? But I feel like I could have incorporated it to my dance and what I initially used to do. You feel me? Now, when I did move to the United States, I did kind of like lose a passion for dancing and all of that. I didn't lose a passion. I just, it's just not something that I did very often on like when I was in Nigeria. So I would say try not to get blinded with the money you, you're making or like the money you can make. I'm going to give you guys, you know, like the whole scenario and how it happened. So like, you know, I started my YouTube channel. I was doing like really interesting content, like, you know, vlogs, um, really videos that people wanted to see. But the more I got into being an influencer and like reviewing stuff for brands and just like I said, being an influencer, I kind of like neglected that part of me which was the dancing part and the part that actually loved doing YouTube and the part that actually just loved the whole concept of making videos and letting people into your life, right? Because I seen like the possibility of growth. So I was like, oh damn, like if I can make money through this, let's go ahead and make some money. Now, like I said, I don't know if you guys were on my life on the TikTok, but people were asking me about the United States. And I was telling them, you know, you got to hustle. You got to hustle and stuff like that. So I'm thinking, oh, God, like, if these people are just going to pay me just to post a video or, like, make a pic, like, post a picture or just make any type of post about their um, product, why am I not doing it? There's no reason why I should not do it. I just felt like it was an easy way out. And I was totally, like, when I tell you, completely blinded by, you know, the revenue that it was generating totally blinded so you know i neglected the part of me that was passionate about youtube and i was just like focused on delivering these videos to these brands as soon as possible now this started in i think 2019 or 2020 i'm not too sure um um sometimes you know in the beginning i didn't even catch myself slipping i just thought i was doing great i just thought okay damn now i'm an influencer like i gotta lock in and do this for real like no problem. I didn't think there was any issue with what I was doing. Meanwhile, in reality, I was just boring my audience. I was boring my audience and, you know, nobody wants to watch the same video back to back to back to back. When, when I mean the same video, I was making wig videos and wig content. So, you know, I would post wig video today, post wig video two days, post wig video another two days, post... So it was just repetitive and it was just the same thing. And that was not the reason why people initially came to my channel. Now, if I made a channel and I was like, okay, well, I'm a wig influencer. I'm going to put this there. Um, everybody knows I'm just going to be doing wigs on here. Or like I'm going to be doing a lot of wigs on here and a little bit of everything else. Right? But that's not why they follow me. They follow me because, you know, one thing about it, I have a lot of personality. And I feel like that's why a lot of people follow me. So I feel like they follow me for that. But instead, I was giving them wig videos and there was no explanation there was just nothing i just was posting it because i felt like okay like these people are gonna pay me this is gonna make me a lot of money someday let me just keep posting don't do that do not do that do not be blinded by how much money you're going to make as an influencer in fact don't even think about the money remember the initial reason and the purpose as to why you started being an influencer in the first place that's my biggest regret. If there's one regret I have with this whole influencer thing, because my journey hasn't been that bad. It's been okay. Now, with Instagram's algorithm changing and my views and likes going down, it is very, very frustrating and very sad. But at the end of the day, like, it just, it's cool. It's whatever. But this is one thing I know that bothers me the most. YouTube. Because on, like, Instagram and TikTok, YouTube is a very difficult app to grow on. People actually have to like watching you to watch a YouTube channel. TikTok, you can be scrolling any hour. You're yeah, just on somebody's for you page. It don't work like that for YouTube. It ain't no for you page for real. You know what I'm saying? Unless your video is doing mad well or like somebody that you're following is following this person, they're just going to put it on your page. It ain't no for you page. So, um, yeah, I started doing that and I was posting more hair videos and then my viewers just kept decreasing and decreasing and decreasing and decreasing i have 14 point something thousand followers or subscribers on youtube and my views are at the 300s 300s y'all horrible you know what i'm saying like 
it's really bad like it's really 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 bad and i don't blame y'all i don't blame anybody but myself because like i said i was blinded by the money i was making so do not make that mistake right boom another thing the, honestly i'm not gonna lie those are the two mistakes like that's the biggest mistake that i made being an influencer on youtube is just really forgetting my roots forgetting why i did it and forgetting my why never forget your why okay i feel like i've talked about that enough i'm just rambling at this point so y'all already get the point but what i would say you should do is um make videos that make you happy do not worry about the money the money will come either way is what i realized because if you don't get a brand collab right now um you're gonna get a brand collab tomorrow and if you end up not getting a brand collab if you do great on youtube period because of your personality and because people want to watch you you're gonna get paid on youtube now youtube don't pay that much for real but if you just put your all into it now you know there's people like ddg diana more they're getting hella money on YouTube. And you can do the same too. Honestly, I probably had the opportunity to do the same, but yeah. Mm -mm. Now, I wouldn't say I don't get paid on YouTube. I do get paid on YouTube. But it would have been way better if my views were more consistent and like higher the way they used to be in the past. Which is what I'm trying to work towards now. You know, I like yesterday I made a new intro. I made a new outro. Like I'm trying to take this serious where I'm trying to make videos that I know people want to see. Like this is a lot of things people ask me a lot of times. Like as an influencer, what do you do? What do you not do? This and that. So I'm just going to put out content that I know people want to watch. That is a do. A do is put out content. You know, you like filming. You have no problem talking about whatever you're talking about in the video. And you know that people want to watch it. Like, you know people want to be an influencer. Like, a lot of people glorify, you know, the idea of being an influencer. So, definitely, like, if you make a video about how to be an influencer or how to navigate being an influencer or, like, what to do, what not to do, people are going to watch it. Even me, myself, as an influencer, I watch these type of videos. So, I know, you know, this type of stuff. Also, like I said earlier, if you have a niche, now, as a YouTuber... You don't have to have a niche. As an influencer, period, you don't have to have a niche. I know a lot of people say have a niche, so this and the third. You don't have to have a niche. If you don't have a niche, you have multiple ways you can make income. Multiple ways. Like if you're into fashion, you can use that. If you're into cooking, you can join that together. Into something else, join that together. Just make it a whole big family, a whole collaboration. You don't have to have a niche. Now, because sometimes people get tired of certain type of videos. I know, for example, wig videos, especially on TikTok, on, on, um, I mean, especially on YouTube. Because YouTube's um, YouTube videos are more like on the long side. Like TikTok videos, the max you can get is three minutes. If I waste three minutes of my time on your TikTok, you know, it's really cool. It's three minutes. It is what it is. Most of these TikTok videos don't even really be three minutes long. They probably be like a minute and some or like less than a minute. So it don't matter. But TikTok, I mean, why well, I keep saying TikTok? But YouTube people have to sit down for like maybe 10, 20 minutes and watch your videos. And it's like if you're posting the exact same type of content every single time, they're like, All right, I already know how this going to go. She's just going to put the glue there and put the da 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 like. They already know two three four install videos on youtube and you should be good like you know what i'm saying so yes you don't have to have a niche but um don't forget the type of videos that you actually initially wanted to make when you first started being an influencer another do i would say is be confident in yourself do not shut down because your um views are not going up because that's what i did I seen, you know, my views were going down. Now, I, while I did know the reason why is because of what I just explained right now, I was like, dang, like, I have 14K subscribers and my views are so, like, they're super low. I don't want to do YouTube no more. I want to delete all my videos. I literally posted yesterday. I was like, oh, like, does anybody know how I could delete all my videos, like, sequentially? Like, I don't want to do it one by one. I just want to delete the whole thing. Like, I'm done with it. I don't want to do it no more. You know? Don't give up. I told myself this is going to be like, not my last try, but like, you know, I'm going to actually try to do YouTube for real because I believe that I have a great personality. Y'all let me know in the comments. I believe I have a great personality and I have a story. Like, I'm I'm not boring. I'm not boring to watch. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try this one more time. And if God say it's going to work, it's going to work. Like, there's nothing else that's stopping me. You know, I have all my editing tools, like, all that good stuff. So... 
I just want to let anybody know this is a really short video I just wanted to put this out there for anybody else that might be struggling with influencing I'm going to definitely like make more videos like steps on how to be an influencer on how to also be a wig influencer or whatever because I know a lot of people are interested in that because they want free wigs I got y'all I got y'all I literally just got this new wig from a vendor in uh, a vendor on Amazon so like I definitely understand the the, the the wanting to be a wig influencer, I got, I ain't gonna lie, I want to be a wig influencer too. I would too. So I'm going to make a video on that next. That's going to be, I believe that's probably going to be my next video or my next two videos. I don't know how to word that. But um, yeah, guys, if you're an upcoming YouTuber, I hope you take these things very lightly because if I could tell myself something, I would tell myself everything I told myself in, well, I'm telling y'all in this video. So, um yeah guys this is how i feel this is what i know as my experience i've been in the youtube industry or like in the influencer industry for almost four years now and so you're just best believe i do know what i'm talking about this is the first source of income i've ever been exposed to so i know exactly what i'm talking about and i wish everybody good luck everybody that's trying to be a youtuber influencer whatever you want to be i wish you good luck and if you have any questions go ahead and ask in the comment section i'll be more than happy to answer any questions or even make a video about it or even dm you to answer your questions or to have a conversation just let me know in the comments i appreciate every single one of you that still support me till this day and i am so sorry i'm super sorry for like boring you guys but it's not gonna happen again i'm probably still gonna take like wig um collabs but i'm gonna take them on my term i'm going to be able to just say oh so this wig i got from this place but let's get into this video instead of just all the thousands of wig and stuff videos like i'm tired of that i'm done with that like i just know so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found some of these tips useful and if you did like it go ahead and give it a thumbs up like this video so it can boost my self-esteem a little bit but um yeah guys with that being said i'll see you guys in my next video and i love you guys bye i don't want to let you down i don't want to let you down